regular service returning this month and another huge announcement by PSA. Stay tuned. What's up, everybody? Kyle here. Let's talk wax with some fresh PSA news. So there were two big announcements on the PSA blog yesterday. One being the return of regular submissions this month. And two, they also dropped some information about the return of value services. But I'll get to that later in the video. So the return of regular services is going to cost you about $100 and require you to have an active PSA account. And they're also adjusting the way these submissions occur so they don't have another catastrophic backlog like last year. The new submission management process involves a virtual queuing event. And in these random queuing events, they'll allocate a certain number of submissions per person. Obviously, there's not a whole lot of specifics right now. All I could find is that PSA plans to inform members by email when these events will be occurring. They've also dropped no information about how many allocations they'll be giving away per queuing event. If you're lost right now, like I was for about the first five minutes, I'll put a link to the actual blog in the description so you can read it. For $100 a card, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of concrete information besides check your email. And for the time being, a lot of these small startup grading services like FCG and BRG are going to get a little bit more time while PSA drag their feet in the market. Although the $100 per card queuing allocation events don't seem very interesting right now, there is some really good news coming from PSA. They stated in this blog that they plan to bring back value and economy services in mid-2022. That put us right around June when 2022 Bowman Chrome comes out. But I'm pretty sure they're going to be using the same allocation process for value and economy cards as well. As for right now at $100 a card, I'm not going to be spamming the refresh button on my email to try to win an allocation spot. I'm really continuing to root for the underdogs in the hobby who are fresh and transparent about what what they do in the creating industry. And there's still a lot of time for them to put their name on the market while PSA slow plays their rebound. That's going to be it for this video. Be sure to let me know what you guys think about these $100 Q allocations in the comments. And I'm really interested to see what you guys think the price of value and economy is going to be when PSA opens that back up. And finally, if you guys enjoy my content, please subscribe and help me reach my new goal of a thousand subscribers. Y'all have a great day.